Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, uh, let's show you the timestamps and all that. Anyway, today's shout out um, is for Tom Martin. Um, probably some of, some of you folks have run across him. He, um, he makes a lot of romp videos um, and he romps just about anything. Welcome to Saturday. Um, he's got a Willie's GP romps. He's got a bunch of Honda. Um, a lot of 200 S's. I think six of them. Um, big Reds. He's got all kinds of stuff that uh, he, he runs around with. He used to do a lot more build videos than, than he does currently. I wish he'd get back to it. Um, you know, putting engines on golf carts and uh, and stuff like that. Mostly he does romp videos, uh, some construction videos. So anyway, Tom Martin and um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put his links in so you can find him. Uh, go say hi and tell him Harvey Spooner sent you. Today we're going to talk about this creature. You notice it's not in the garage and you notice it's got four wheels now. That means it's a roller. Um, when you put one of these things together there's quite a bit of fussing around you gotta do to make sure things are parallel and level. If like your axle and your motor are not parallel that means your chain will not run correctly and at the minimum you wear sprockets at the maximum you throw the chain and beat up um, on the case or snap the chain or just destroy the, the poor cart so y you really want to want to work at that so you got to make sure your sprocket is parallel to this which means you can't be you know cattywampus back and forth and you can't have your motor um, cattywampus right you gotta make sure everything's nice and parallel I mean in my case I can still slide my sprocket back and forth so I'm all good um, also as I put these engine right I wanted this strut across so I can mount the engine to it but um, the plates there's plates on the bottom here um, that I bolted through to. There's a just a, a plate that goes across with the holes drilled in it. Um, anyway, those plates are a little bit long and and they're hitting the tire, so I gotta I gotta get the tires back off and trim those plates down. By the way, when I made the plates and I made four four plates um, because there's going to be one of these guys going across the front also for front motor mounts anyway I made one first one template first and then I drilled this and made sure it was gonna work and do what I wanted it to do then I copied the plate and I used um, the plate for a template all the way around that way I don't have four different custom plates all the plates that bolt up from underneath are the same that way when it's time to put it together you're not like nope this plate don't work nope this plate don't work nope this one don't work oh maybe I had to turn backwards or upside down you know that way they're all the same and it saved you quite a bit of time to putting it on but you could see that is bolted through and um, bolt it through right there and down here so when you really look at this considering there's going to be one of these in front of the motor squeezing all that stuff together squeezing the um, the easy go frame to the um, unirail or the uh, unistrut right there and there I could almost 
you know, cut this thing off in the back. Um, I mean, back back here, though, it's hooked to the easy go frame, or it will be in the back. You know, back there where the bumper hooks up. It's really going to be pretty strong, just by virtue of the fact that it's you know tied in here. I was also looking at this area, particularly right there. I can also run, you know, uh, down from there. And let's see, back up a little bit from where my finger is right down to there, right? So, um, I think the frame is going to be rock solid. I don't think I'll have any, any trouble with it coming apart. I used you know plenty of washers and lock washers and all that stuff um, to make everything work you can see the engine mount the motor mounts here right so I'm just gonna put a you know um, basically put a piece of metal piece of you know right there same on this side uh, bolt it on and then tack it and make sure once again that I got everything nice and parallel and straight and the way I want it to be so um, that'll give me the two motor mounts this one and that one down there you can see it right there the end of my finger on the motor um, so that'll, that'll give me those two motor mounts uh, tied in once again to the easy go frame and that thing and I'm also going to have a top motor mount and I could probably get away without the fronts but um, I'm going to I'm going to put the fronts on it anyway uh, just just to make life better the front motor mounts I'm going to make those uh, these guys here are going to be welded to the frame and then bolted through the engine. These guys here, I think I'm going to bolt them on the front. That way, if I want to take the engine out, I just undo the plates on both sides, right? Um, and that'll give me space here. And then I could just pull the bolts. Take this. This bracket is going to be bolted up to here somewhere. And then I could just take that off and it'll all be good. Um... So you guys could see a lot of progress. It actually rolls fairly easily, even though the tires are rubbing a little bit there. Um, right. So, putting it in the garage, taking it out, will not be that big a problem. And, and that's that's the way you want it. It's actually, this is the first time where I've been able to work on multiple projects all at the same time. Theoretically, I'm not at the moment, but I could be working on that ATC that's on the job box. Um, I am working on that one, kind of going back and forth between this guy and this guy. And uh, I can still get my um, my Ford tracks in and out if if I want to um, ride it. The uh, those crates now that I've kind of sorted them a bit, I got to get this stuff out of here and um, get uh, hopefully four of the crates will fit right under there. Um, you know I. I don't put anything or typically I don't put stuff directly on the floor so that'll that'll get um, um, four crates gone and let's say that pile of four is gone then there's two more and and this box of uh, assorted stuff so just a matter of you know cleaning up a little bit at a time this is probably the most stuff I've had undercover all at once. 
um, and space to work. So the word is definitely, I'm definitely making some progress with my battle on this place. I'm, uh, I'm actually becoming somewhat more functional. Um, I used the whole hog, drill hog bits. I use these um, to drill a bunch of the holes on this. Boy, uh, they're nice. It's like drilling wood, guys. I would, uh, I would, you know, the Harbor Freight stuff. You want to just take that and throw it over your shoulder, or give it away, um, and uh, set yourself up with with the whole hog stuff or the drill hog stuff. I mean, this stuff once again is. Uh, This stuff has a lifetime warranty. You break any of this stuff and they um, they just replace it free of charge. He's got his address and all on the back here. I got these um, through eBay. And these are eighth inch. I think the 10 of them were 20 bucks, give or take a foot and a half. Um, well, Well worth it. Uh, haven't broke one yet. And one of them, uh, the one I've been using, I drilled 50 holes through angle iron with it. I did use oil, but I drilled 50 holes through angle iron with it. And then before I even started this project, what I did is I used the eighth inch to drill the pilot holes and then just stepped up to the size I needed. Um, so... Yes, yes, that's about it. Go visit Tom Martin. Tell him Harvey Spooner sent you. Go check out some of his romp videos. If you go look at his older stuff, you could see um, when he services some stuff and you know does some rear end work or um, CV work. Um, during the summer, he runs his bikes. They actually um, run them up and down a creek. Um, submerse them and so forth I don't I don't do that to my stuff but uh, he doesn't seem to be afraid to get things wet so um, I guess I guess you could go watch his videos and see the extremes of what these things could take anyway folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your your feet down keep your head up and folks get out there and enjoy all your days uh, today and tomorrow for us here on the East Coast are going to be beautiful. Uh, tomorrow night some weather's starting to blow in and it uh, looks like we might might have some ugliness for, um, for Monday through, uh, through the end of next week. Um, for the person who asked if I wanted to sell this, um, yeah, send me a private message. Tell me where you, uh, where you live. I'm... Uh, I'm, I, to be honest with you, I was going to junk it. So um, about selling it, the uh, obviously the scrap value isn't very high, so I'm sure you can meet it. All right, folks, um, take care now. We'll catch up with you all again soon. Bye.